first off, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Late Bladed Hanukkah to all you fellow Jews out there. How do you do that wink? I'm not quite sure. It's a lot of freaking coordination. I know, it's been a while for a Raves and Rejects video. Don't kill me. We're doing it now. So these are all the products that I liked and didn't like in the month of December slash November because I didn't do a video for that month. I'm going to start out with foundation. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on my Instagram about the foundation and powder I've been wearing. I can't give you an answer for that because honestly I switch it up every day. But there is one foundation that I always reach for, and that is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. And this is in the shade... Where are you? L42, maybe? It's the lightest shade they make. Go figure. But it actually is a little bit too light for me. I find that it makes me look like a freaking ghost if I wear it alone. And I'm not a huge fan of the completely matte finish. So I usually will mix this with the Maybelline Superstay Foundation, and that is my like go-to foundation combo lately. I absolutely love this. It's super long lasting, mattifying, great if you have oily skin, super, did I say super full coverage already? Super full coverage. Love it. It's totally worth the money. So the powder I've been using is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. To be completely honest, I was never really a fan of this because I remember this was my first like MAC face product I tried when I was in like 8th grade or freshman year of high school or something. And the lady completely color matched me wrong and you know when you just like associate bad memories with things even though it's probably not even a thing, it's just like the situation, does that make sense? Anyways, I finally got my right color in this which is NW15 and I've been using this powder lately with the Kat Von D foundation and the Maybelline Superstay. I love it. I gotta say it does apply way better, whoa, where'd it go? With a sponge like this. Don't use the sponge that it comes with, it's not going to work as well. This is the NYX Professional Powder Puff or something like that. When you apply it with the powder, it just gives you a much more flawless finish. I'm wearing all of the face products I mentioned right now. Next product I have been obsessing over, I don't know why, but I've been on this like highlighter kick lately. I just love the look of dewy, highlighted kind of skin. I'm wearing it right now, I don't know if the light is showing it as well as it does in real life, but it is the Mary Luminizer Highlighter by The Balm. I've had this for a while now, and it doesn't even look like it, but I use it pretty much every day, I'm trying to figure out the whole focus zoom thing on this camera. But it is just a gorgeous highlighter. You can get The Balm on Hot Look, Outlook, Hot Look, whatever it's called. I do this every time. It's a flash sale site, the link will be down below. And I think I got it for like $14 on there and it's normally like 20 something so check it out. Last face product that has been a rave for me is the L'Oreal Magic Bloomy Light Infusing Primer. Holy balls, can't say enough amazing stuff about this primer. I've always been a Maybelline Instant Age Rewind girl as far as primers go. And then I tried this and my world was changed. I think part of the reason why I love it is the packaging. It's got some rose gold going on. It has a pump. I always love a pump. Since it's a light infusing primer, it does give you a kind of glow when you put it on. I can't say that I notice a difference in like the dewiness once I apply a foundation over it, but I've got to say it definitely helps my foundation last longer. The only thing is this smells like absolute shit. It smells like a mixture of parrots and chemicals in a bottle. Not a fan of the smell at all, but it makes up for it in the product. So the next two raves are eye products. The first is kind of in general right here, the Morph Brushes Eyeshadows. I'll leave their link down below, but I found them from Instagram and I'd heard really good things about them and I decided to order some of their pan eyeshadows, which are right here, these four. And they are $2, like what the fuck? Just as good, if not better, than the MAC eyeshadows. They are so pigmented. This one looks dark in the pan, but when you put it on your eyes, it's definitely comparable to MAC Soft Brown. It's gorgeous colors. I have other colors from them, but these are just my most used, so I keep them in my mini Z palette. 
The colors will be down below because I have to double check on the website. Don't know it off the top of my head. Don't kill me. This eye product is the NYX Pearl Ultra Mania. Was that right? Ultra Pearl Mania. And it doesn't say the color, but it is the white pearl shade. It is very comparable to the MAC Vanilla Pigment, which I absolutely love for under the brow bone and even on the cheekbone as a highlight. You can use these wet or dry. I think they're like 2 or $3. You can get it off cherryculture.com or NYX website. So super good for highlighting the inner corner of the eye. Love it. The last couple things are lip products. The first is the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in 08. This is a neutral berry color. So freaking pretty. If you follow my Instagram, you've definitely seen me wearing it. It's just one of those colors that you can put on your lips wherever you're going. It looks like your lips but better. Just looking at the lipstick in the case is probably not a shade that I would ever pick out for myself. I don't know what prompted me to buy it, but I did. It is just gorgeous on the lips, especially for fall and winter. So give that a try. You can get it at CVS or Rite Aid. Yeah. Just felt like Harry Potter for a sec. The last two raves for the month is the Matte Current Lip Pencil, which is like a berry color. And you can pair this with Rebel and it's gorgeous or Wet n Whoa, it's like rolling all over the place. Or Wet n Wild 908C lipstick, which is like a deep berry color. Can't go wrong with like a $1.99 lipstick, you know? It's a winner. These are a little bit drying though, so be careful with that. Definitely put a moisturizer, chapstick, something underneath your lips or a primer so it doesn't look gross. So now on for the rejects of the bunch. So unfortunately both of these are NYX products. I love NYX but these two just aren't cutting it. I ordered a shipment off NYX on their Cyber Monday sale and everything was 50% off and free shipping. So I was like even if I don't like something then it won't really be a waste of money. I don't know that was my justification. Like, let's start out with the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation. It is like a cream foundation. I am just not a fan of the finish at all. I like it a little bit if I mix it in with my Maybelline Superstay. I've got some like, you know, Sahara Desert regions going on on my face right now during the winter time. And this just clings to all of those like no other. I know it is a mattifying foundation so I might like it better in the summer. And I am going to keep it for the summertime because it also is a little bit too dark. This is the shade. 03 natural it's definitely about three shades darker than my skin tone which is also why i mix it with the maybelline superstay but reading the description on the website they made it seem they called this ivory with pink undertones which to me is ivory for people with pink undertones In my mind i was picturing like an nw15 which is ivory with pink undertones. But no, this is fucking... color is literally like an NC25 MAC, if that gives you a picture of how damn dark this foundation is. So I may keep it to wear with self-tanner, but right now it's making me look like someone from Jersey Shore. My last reject is the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer, and this is the Concealer in a Jar in 01 Porcelain. I was super excited to try this because I feel like I've heard good things about this and the NYX HD Concealer, but for some reason the concealer with like a wand is like the most unappealing concealer to me in the world. I usually love the potted kind, not this one. It feels like a paint pot after it's been drying for like two years. It is not creamy at all. Once you do kind of warm it up with your fingers and get it to the consistency where it's ready to be put on your face. Once you put it on your face, there's no blending whatsoever. It's like you have to literally pat it on and it looks weird and like strokey. It looks so bad. I wore it to work the other day, had a concealer crisis mid-shift. Literally had to like take off and redo my whole concealer because it looks so horrible. It was settling in all the fine lines. I had the mascara lines underneath. It looked like I put it on like blind at four in the morning. Comment down below if you have tried this concealer and you like it and there's a better way to apply it that I'm just missing out on because this is a giant 
reject. So that was my November, December mix of a rave and reject video. Thumbs up if you like this and if you like raves and rejects videos for the future. Comment down below with what your favorite products were for the month of December. I hope you had a happy holidays, ate lots of good shit, had fun with the fam, playing Monopoly and things, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And I'm a turtle. So I got a new camera. Do I look different to you? Probably not, but it's exciting for me. It has a lot better quality. Um, the zoom is freaking amazing, so I'll probably be doing a lot more tutorials. If you want to see the tutorial tutorial for the look I'm wearing right now, click the link below. It's the It's Judy's Time palette tutorial review, so go check it out. Ooh, I feel like that was a winner. Probably not. Oh,